home to over 20 local brands that offer customers a choice in lifestyle, fashion, accessories, beauty, sportswear, clothing, cellular, and homeware. But TFG to partner with Proudly South Africa. It was an extremely natural fit. The most important thing about this partnership is the job creation. I mean, we live in South Africa and the unemployment rate is quite intense. And it prompts the South African consumer to buy local. Because local is lacquer. <laughs> I started the business 20 years ago. And the reason why I did homeware is because I've been in the clothing industry for many years. And I enjoyed fashion. I enjoyed patent technology. I then thought to myself, let me try some scatter cushions. I met a buyer at, at home. They wanted some local product and that's how we started. At Home has placed major focus on local manufacturing. The COVID pandemic taught us that being local and focusing on our local supply has become a massive, massive stability factor in our production and retail sales. Um, was it not for our local partners, we would have had no products in stores. When starting off with the design, most of the time we get a train board from the at-home team based on colours, based on um, fabric, based on texture. My inspiration is very much fashion. For example, you have your beautiful floral in greens and cities and I tone it down into a beautiful scatter cushion. In South Africa, we have women empowerment where we bring them in, they can do bead work for us. We have ladies that can do beautiful hand stitch and it's so raw and original and I think that is a South African brand, being original and, and being pure. We have CMTs on my floor because then production is met and delivery date is met as well as quality. And then from there we will manufacture, bale it, bag it and then deliver. Walking through the waterfront and canal walk and seeing our designs in the window on the bed is a very, very beautiful feeling. The beautiful thing about Sportsin is that it grew to become one of the biggest brands within TFC and within South Africa, actually. They've got millions of followers on Instagram and on Twitter. I had the blessing to go to the Sportsin store in Santon and it blew my mind. Listen, there's a basketball court, there's a studio, and there's sneakers. They even do tattoos. <sighs> They've actually built actual studios within their stores across South Africa, and they created a place for, for South African artists to come together and create South African music for absolutely free. I think the purpose of having these cool things in the store is to change the concept of a physical brick and mortar store is to create an experience and not just uh, come in and shop. They're creating an environment where you want to go into the store and stay there for as long as possible and buy more shoes. My name's Shane Van Niekirk and I'm the MD of JET. The threat of closure of the JET stores uh, during the 2020 year we went into lockdown, COVID came along, uh, we had business rescue, so it was pretty bleak and it looked like uh, there's a possibility that the entire chain could fold. Employee morale was at a real low. No one knew whether they had a job the next day or how long it was going to go on. It's probably the worst, I don't know, year of my life. What kept me up at night was those people. I think that was far more important than anything else. When we met the Fashini group for the first time, we sat down, we had a discussion, there was a meeting of the mind. At that stage, we had nearly 9,000 employees and after closing stores down, we ended up with just over 6,000. And we kept a whole lot of the non-profitable stores that were sitting in strategic areas, which was the right thing to do. It was a stressful time for everyone, but the good news came in 
when we heard about TFG taking over. As a manager, I was super relieved. It was the light at the end of the tunnel, and we will still be able to look after our families. That's very important. And one thing that I love about TFG, they care for everyone. It's been a tough road for them, but I think they've now realized that being part of the TFG family, uh, there is a future, there is uh, longevity, and there's growth. We're a national retailer, an international retailer, and we believe that there should be coverage in all the provinces. And so we've established uh, manufacturing units in KZN, as well as in Johannesburg. When CFG builds a factory or a distribution center, it is absolutely crucial that we involve the community. We don't just offer jobs. We offer education through learnerships, employing the people of the community, and also uplifting the people of the community. I wouldn't be where I am today if it was not for the leadership. I'm now a supervisor in the biggest store in the country. What's really amazing is that 90% of the learners that complete the learnership program become full-time TFG employees. The qualification that I've achieved is a NQ level two in retail and wholesale. TFG has reduced unemployment. Most of the youth who were not working, I'm one of them, as sitting at home, not doing anything. So when the opportunity for, for the learnership came up, I was able to find myself again, and now I'm working, and I'm able to take care of my family. What's unique about Prestige Clothing Johannesburg is that it's entirely staffed with deaf students that graduated from St. Vincent's School of the Deaf. Today, there is a modern 150-man factory that currently is staffed with 50 students from St. Vincent's, but will expand to 125 by the end of next year, and it will go up to 150 in 2023. This project consists of three broad components. We have the theory component, where we teach the learners all about quality, production, uh, productivity, and then the learners progress to the practical training room. And there they get taught how to sew and how to make different parts of a garment and how to attach the different components according to the quality standards that have been set by TFG. And then the third element, they go into a factory where they learn what it's like to work in a factory. For me, this project has just been an awesome blessing. I'm part of the process of changing and impacting the life of a deaf learner. After this, when I'm done with my theory, I'm going to move to the TFG factory. When I'm done with the factory, and then if I feel like maybe I need to further my dreams, I can also open my business and give other deaf people opportunities. Prestige Clothing, that started on the 6th of February 1989, with six people. The National Bargaining Council uh, reported in July this year to now be the largest apparel manufacturer in the country with 2,470 employees and another 288 learnerships that will soon graduate and add to this number. We believe that by 2022, Prestige Clothing will have grown to 3,000 employees and by 2026 to 5,000 employees. Prestige Clothing Caledon is built where there is huge unemployment where for every job you create, that job supports five other individuals at home. It's been a fabulous journey working at Prestige. What it means for, for the community of Caledon that there's more work opportunity because work is very scarce here in Caledon. There are people who are the sole breadwinner in a family like a lady with, she has five children. And Prestige Caledon gives her that the relief that in the end of, at the end of the week, I will have money to support my family. All you need to do is invest in a really modern piece of equipment. A wonderful South African that you can train, properly train, to a national qualification, and a properly trained person with a modern piece of machinery with good management and a good modern manufacturing process in a compliant building competes with anybody in the world on efficiency. It's wonderful to see ordinary people working as a team 
doing extraordinary things. And there's such a lot of opportunity for South African youth to actually go into with its clothing, with its any type of a product, especially now that we have Instagram, you know, the young designers, they can actually go out there for the country. So definitely I will inspire them to go out there, start their own business. Don't feel that you are too small to approach somebody too big. You never know where your business can end up. We believe and support the Proudly South African movement. We've started adding it to a lot of our labeling, um, our tags that go into products, because we want people to know that these products aren't just being made somewhere. They're being made here by local people, local artisans, local designers. During COVID, we've identified areas which we never thought we could do locally, but we can, and we can do them well, and we can do them beautifully.